and welcome to my YouTube again. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion, and this is the Mona Lisa. It is a young child, young lady. This is an older lady. This is a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. It is also a lost painting. This is the x-ray that was taken out of my painting. I have well over 600 YouTubes and it's going to tell you some of the secrets. Now we're going to get right to it real quick for you to see and I'm going to show you something very, very cool. When you end up with this image that is right here, it is so happens to be when you overlay the skull over this particular piece, you'll see that it lines up in the bars. lines up in these bars and when you see you can see a straight line bar here now when you end up watch now you see the straight line bar here you can see this V here which is this V here and then you see a line through here which you can see how it cuts through here and you can see a cut bound through the side now don't forget his works do move and that's why these right here are cut angles for this, these rails or these angles to move across. Okay, but this is a very, very small portion of what I wanted to show you. Okay, this is what I want to show you right here. This is the main deal. The main deal is the, is the ending deal. Okay, now when you take the Medeon and you overlay the Medeon in here, you'll see... You see this, you see these lines right through here in this face? That's her. And you see how this so happens, you see how this so happens to have this roundness here and here, right through here, right through here, right through here, right through here. And the reason why it goes down is because he follows her to get to her and she actually moves to get to him. Somewhere in the painting, somehow he, without me getting into trying to these x-rays of or these images that are not of high quality of the Mona Lisa, um, mine was shot with a hundred megapixel and I went through different phases. But as you can see, the lines the lines match for the hat. All you gotta do is just get it lined up and you can see the, you can see the angle cut. How they're perfectly round with it. Now when I move this back into here, I have to scoot her up one more notch. And here she fits perfectly in the line of the stars into the chest, into the face. If you move it back, you see how her eyes light up in the stars. You move her forward, she lines up in the stars. You move her again, she lines up in the stars. You move her again, she lines up in the stars and the eyes. All these eyes, look at it. Now I gotta shift it one more time. There, perfectly. See how he's moving? He moves back, but technically, he's also moving forward. Look how he lines up perfectly in the stars. The, how, how the body fits in the form. And the hand, it fits right down in here. When you go to blow it up, which is right here, you're going to see the twisted finger. Her finger is in there, along with many other if you can see her finger right there how it's twisted okay that means here we are that means it goes up over up that means it goes angle over up see how it's got the pitch it goes into here it goes over to here it goes over to here now why does your finger move does your hand move leonardo da vinci is a flip book television in his um, in his works 
Also, what also fits in this for you to see is that when you shove this hand into the, into the skull, it fits perfectly into the skull as you can see right through here. See this, watch. It goes right there, fits perfect into here. Also, when it gets moved, it also gets perfect into right in this area where it fits in the empty spot. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I just gotta shift it just one, but you know it does because I do know it goes because I'm already preset and have the answer before it's ready. And you can see his finger, see his finger here? You can see his finger right here. You can see his finger right there, right there because his hand moves. You can see his arm running, 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 and you can see how he becomes the quail. See right here? It, his eyes fit in the quail. This is a quail up here. Watch. See the bird? Okay, that's a bird quail. I'm going to show it to you a little bit better. That's a bird quail. Now I'm just going to hold that right there. I'm going to put his face right in it and then we're done. Okay, now don't forget it costs nothing to subscribe. Okay. There. He fits in there. He fits in there. See how his chest fits just for the doily alone? Okay. Now I'm going to pull this one more time. One more time for you to see how she fits in the body. See, she even shifts up. See how she fits right there? Okay, right there, her line of her dress. You see her line of her dress? See how the stars match? Don't forget, the reason is, you see this line, how it goes for the breast? See how this line goes up for the breast? See how this line goes up for the breast? Because she's larger in certain areas. Here's this, like a medium, here's a little less than medium, here's a little less than, than small, and then when you end up with the real long one, that you would end up, um, well, actually, it would be in these little itty bitty stars. So you follow these little stars, here comes a big one, here comes a big one, and shifts all the way up. Because that's what he did. And don't forget, in between all those is the blue that you don't see, that you do see. It, it is so complicated, it is so hard for me to try to tell you. But if I wanted to take this and go like this, I know I'm lying to you right now for the reason is I told you I was going to be done with this quick. You can actually fit the skull in between them. There's something in the meaning. Take a look. There was a face in between and that's it. You see the face? There's a face in between. Okay? There, and she fits in between in the faces and he fits in the faces. So with all that in mind, okay, you got to understand that Leonardo da Vinci is a copy machine. He's a book. He's a storyteller and uh, he's a trickster and he's a code man. And with all that in mind for you to know, don't forget about the x-ray. The x-ray sh shows that I absolutely own a Leonardo da Vinci painting. The Mona Lisa's in it. It has more secrets and more codes than anything. It has the Last Supper. It has Lady with an Ermine. It has the Walking Lady. It has the Man with the Penis. It has every single thing. And by the way, the Mona Lisa is one big penis. I have that in my x-rays. I mean, uh, uh, in my YouTubes. So, take a look and you find out this is not for children. This is a story. This is a, a, a deal. Now, back then, for you to understand, back then, a person with a private part, uh, his love muscle um, meant domination, meant uh, in old, uh, super old times, uh, it, uh, they worship the... Um, the love god or something of that sort and so there's a lot of there's a lot of tradition and and thought that went into his work and not only that he was very ex extremely sexually attractive uh, to men um, with that sex organ and it so happens to be 
three lovers, Sali and Melzi Francesca, and what you got is all three men live together and think about the Mona Lisa. The two initials of the Mona Lisa are ML, carve ML in a tree. Melzi Francesca, for M, for Mona. L Leonardo da Vinci, for Lisa. And use Lisa also with the A in Mona, all the letters, five letters, and it spells out Sali, S-A-L-A-I. And those three were lovers, lived together, um, Sali till 1518, Melzi all the way till 1519, all the way till the death of his, death of Leonardo da Vinci, and it is spelt Sali in my painting, in the x-rays. I have that well over 600 YouTubes. I'm telling you, if you guys don't want to take a look, that's fine, but what I mean is it, the answers are in the painting, it actually shows you that this is a true blue factual Leonardo da Vinci painting no individual on the planet would ever know regardless if they try to cheat or copy or anything of any of the hidden secrets it's taken me seven years it's taken me eight to twelve hours a day and a half a million dollars invested if you guys can be really kind and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell that would be kind also on top of that, I would like for you guys to wear your mask, keep your um, six feet distance, and wash your hands. Uh, tell your mother and your father and your loved ones, uh, associates and friends, and tell your teacher, tell everybody that you love them because it could be your last two, three, four days because apparently nobody's listening. I've seen over 200,000 people, the way it shows on the numbers, that are getting infected every 24 hours. And I think this morning uh, uh, from 8 p.m. to uh, 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 to uh, 8 a.m. it was uh, 211,000 by my calculation but I'm, I'm uh, that's in the world okay we are uh, doing 33 percent of that sickness and and that's uh, I don't understand how we can be so stupid so anyway I can use some financial support I can use some financial advice I can also use a GoFundMe page and I can also use good friends and good dedicated individuals that believe in me I believe in you guys. If you guys wear a mask, that's great. My neighbor didn't. Came on over, got signed here, and still walked up to my mother. I got a stop sign. I got to keep six feet away, wear a mask, the whole shoot match, and comes right on up on our property anyway. The disrespectful sucker. Okay, and I'm religious. My mom, I got her tagged. I got the date, and I got the recording. I'm going to tell you, if there's somebody sick in four days, God help me. And, and in Jesus' name, I got to say, may God uh, bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens, and let's uh, stay safe and try to stay calm because I'm going to tell you what, I don't like when people turn around and step on somebody. That's, that's wrong. Disrespect somebody into coming over. I don't want their spit on here, especially when there's an illness, especially when there's a law. Obey the law. Wear a mask. In Jesus' name, amen.